Now, you are welcome back to the continuation of the main interface design and uh, using the WAMP server. So, now the next we want to do now is to run our application. If you click on this run or you press this, then it's going to run the particular bank application interface. This is the main interface, don't forget. Now, there are other applications developed, they will have the sample application. And you can see that by default, if I click on this, it only runs the main interface uh, application which I'm developing on that bank application. So if you want to run other application that have been developed by you, just come and right click, then click on run. It will run the sample application. So you are the one to set which application should be run by default. If you want to set this one to also run by default, you come here. You say what you set as main project. You can see that the color will change to darker black. So it has changed to darker black here. So, but I want to be running my bank application. You come here, right click, you set as main uh, project. And if you click on here, it will definitely run the bank application. Now, let's be on the track. So the next thing we want to do now is to change the look and feel or set the look and feel of my application. The look and feel describes how a particular application look on the system you are on for example i am on a windows system so the look and feel of my application should look like a windows it means i have to go and get the system look and feel then if my application is on linux system it should be able to get the linux system look and feel so which means I'm going to get system look and feel on the Linux system. So what I'm saying is that we are going to set the look and feel to always get the system look and feel. Let's go back to the source code of the application. Now you can see if you collapse this, you're going to have something like this look and feel settings code optional. If you click on this plus, then you have the code here. We don't need to tap out with any code here. We don't have any business here. The only thing we have business is this Nimbus. So by default, if you run this application, the Nimbus look and feel will be used by the application. Now, if I want to change it, I can change it to Windows look and feel. Windows look and feel. Now, which means anytime I am on Windows system, it is going to load the application as a Windows look and feel. So even if I'm on Linux system, it will load the is the application as a, a Windows look and because I've written Windows to be here. And don't forget that. So if you click, let's save this. If you run now, then you see that it will look like a Windows. You can see the color has changed from a darker blue to lighter blue or ash color. Now we also have the numbers. We have the motif. We have Windows Classic. Anyone you like, you can choose. Or you can even get the system look and feel. Now, what I can do now is to make sure that anytime my application is running in a particular system, it will definitely get that particular system look and feel instead of setting it permanent here. So what I'm going to do is to let me collapse this back. Then I can delete this and use the UI manager class. Okay. The control Z. Okay, UI manager and just let me try to delete this. So there's what we call the UI manager class. UI manager. Now UI manager dot set look and feel. Then we bring our new UI manager again to get the system look and feel. UI manager dot get dot get look and feel as the method dot get system look and feel then we'll leave it like that you can see that it's reporting an error let us check the error unreported exception anytime you see unreported exception it means this particular code should be in a try and cache block the reason why it has to be in a try try means try this particular code I've written here then catch means please report the error or the exception if there is any error generated by the code. 
So if you have an error like this, unreported exception, it means that particular code should be in a try and cache block. And try and cache block simply means once again that you try this particular code I've written and return or report any exception or error you see after running the code. So what I'm going to do is to cut this out. I can say Control X. Then you come and write the try and catch. Try and catch. Then you paste Control V. You paste. You can see that there's no more error. Now don't forget when I was typing TR, everything just came up. TRY blah blah blah. The 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 opening and co co closing columns just came up. It means I did something which you are not aware of. Anytime you are trying to type a command, for example, you have written this first second character of that particular command, you can press Ctrl plus Tab. Ctrl plus Tab will bring out the particular command or a list of commands that you choose the one you want there. Let us come here and save what we have done. Now let us run our application now. Now you can see that because we are on Windows now, so this particular application will get the windows look and feel and look like windows but i don't want to use windows i want to use nimbus because nimbus is very wonderful it's very fine very beautiful and scintillating so what am i going to do okay 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 yeah i'm still going to change it back so we'll meet in the next class thank you very much bye bye